Stop fooling yourself. If there is an area or areas in your life you're not doing well, whether it's fitness, relationship with people, uh, spiritually, finance, personal development, business is not growing, whatever that might be, and you are not doing well, meaning you are stagnating and you are frustrated. You want to make a change, but you don't know how. Well, I'm here to share with you what do you need to do to have the biggest breakthrough and turning point in 2023 and make it better? The first question you must ask yourself is, do I want to make it better? Do I want to make it better in an area that I'm weak at? As simple as that. Do you know how many people, they're not willing to confront the truth? How many people, they are avoiding the truth? Let me tell you, if you want to have the biggest breakthrough in anything in life, I'll give you two words. The first word is self-love. The second word is self-reflect. Let me explain to you what self-love is. Self-love is you actually love yourself so much or at least enough that you are willing to confront the truth. You are willing to find out what kind of weakness do you possess that lead to stagnation in your life, in your business. That is self-love. Self-love is also about, I am committed to make it better. Look, at the end of everything, you can't fool the inner you. You can lie to the inner you. Self-love comes first if you want to have a breakthrough. And the second word I have it for you is what? Self-reflect. Self-reflect is all about asking yourself deep questions and eventually come up with specific solutions how to improve it. How do you know how to improve something if you don't know the leaks, if you don't know what's going on? So I'm gonna share with you, let's say, in your business, you have been stagnating for the last five years and the, your business is not growing. As a matter of fact, it's dying and you wanna have a breakthrough. So you gotta self-reflect by asking yourself some self-reflecting questions. A question could be, what does success look like for me in 2023 if I'm leading other people? Visualize that. Imagine that. Am I supposed to show up earlier than all the guys I'm leading and show up later and show them that I work harder than they do? I don't know, right? You tell yourself. Maybe to you what success looks like is don't show any hurt. You know, I have met so many soft people, soft leaders. Every little challenge, every little problem, every little crisis they have, they publicize it to everybody they're working with. They publicize it to everybody they're leading. How would you expect people to follow you if you are a leader of that organization, if you're the leader of that pack? I wouldn't want to follow somebody that publicized all their problems to me. Maybe you should never show her. Doesn't mean that you shouldn't be sharing with people. Maybe start to share with people that above you instead of around you or below you that you're trying to lead. Make sense? Not a thing. It could be you need to fully engage. You need to fully involve with your business. Stop trying to wing it. The first maybe two to three years of my business, I was trying to get lucky. I call that trying to wing it. I, I'm trying to wait for luck to come to me. So think about those kind of things and write down specifically what does success look like in 2023 if you are a leader that's leading other people. Another self-reflecting question could be, what kind of skill set you must develop right now in 2023 so you can lead people better? Maybe it's your communication skill, okay? You don't know how to communicate. You are someone that don't even want to communicate or you are someone that is maybe too strong when you talk to people, when you have not earned your moral authority yet, when you haven't built any credibility, but you're talking to the peers, you're talking to the people you're leading like you are the boss. That could be a skill set you could improve on right away is the way you communicate with people, right? Maybe you're not good in selling. Maybe you're not good in closing deal. Maybe you're not good in prospecting. Whatever line of business you are in, you have to write down the skill sets that can separate you than the rest of the people that you're working with, that the, the rest of the people you're competing with. What are the skill set you must start to develop? And I know, I know, a lot of people say, I'm not good at this, I'm not great at this. Listen to me, 
nobody is good, nobody is great at the, at the beginning of anything. Just believe me, every master used to be a disaster at the beginning. Every pro used to be a rookie at the beginning. And every big winner used to be a big loser at the beginning. Does it make sense for you? And the third self-reflecting question could be, what kind of behaviors I need to eliminate altogether in 2023? What are the behaviors? What, what kind? Are you someone that are afraid of success and afraid of responsibility? That's a behavior because you're afraid of success. You're afraid of responsibility. You're afraid of accountability. So write it down. That's a leak. That is a habit behavior you need to get rid of. Maybe not immediately, but you got to work towards that goal of get rid of that behavior. Or maybe you're somebody that focused too much on the back end stuff. You're not selling, you're not focusing on the front end stuff, which is bringing clients in, developing sales leaders, you know, improving your own skill set. You're focusing all the admin work. You're focusing, you know, all the stuff that doesn't make you money at the beginning. That could be a behavior that you need to eliminate because I work with a lot of people that they learn everything, they know everything, but they never, ever, ever apply into the real field, in the real world, where they can actually learn those, learn how to use those skill set to eventually produce results. Another behavior that you might want to eliminate is what? Stop worrying about other people's opinion. That's a behavior. Because every time you're trying to say something, every time you're trying to talk about something, every time you're trying to sharing something, you know, if you constantly worry about what other people think of you, how people judge you behind your back, you know, you're always going to be walking on eggshell. So if you want to have a breakthrough in anything, that could be a behavior that you need to eliminate altogether. And last self-reflecting question could be, is there anybody that you're leading today that you don't want to let down, that you don't want to disappoint? Who are those people? Because they're putting so much trust in you, whether they're investing their time, resources, belief, faith in you, because they believe that you're going to make it big one day. In return, you can lead those people. Are, are there anybody that you are accountable to, that you are leading? If you don't, you better find some people that you feel obligated to making sure that you lead them in the right way so they also can win in their life. Does it make sense for you, my message of today? So if you want to have breakthrough, stop fooling yourself. All right, guys, post a comment below, share my video to anyone that you know need to be listening to today's message. And of course, download my Just Win app at the end of the video. All right, guys, take care and I'll see you next time. JW here. If you like my content, comment below and download my JW Just Win app. See you next time.